so good morning guys i've just had a really quick shower now i need to quickly do my makeup get dressed and head out to work i shaved my arms and legs in the shower today and i just used this eastridge watermelon jelly which i showed you guys in my last vlog i got sent this by accident so basically it had stuff on my cart that i added over a year ago and they for some reason processed the order i do get my razors from eastridge but i haven't ordered them in well over a year because i've got so many the razors are really good and um the shower jelly is really good so yeah like i said even though I didn't order it, I'm happy that I got it because this is something I would repurchase again. I've used it about three or four times now and it doesn't even look like I've used it at all. You don't really need much of it. I don't use it as a shower gel. I just use it to shave with. And then I just use the Body Shop Body Yogurt Mango. I'm not a fan of the body yogurts. They're not as moisturising as the body butters. But my work colleague got this for me for Christmas. So I've been trying to use it up and I have almost used it up. So I used this on my legs and then on my arms I used the Mango Body Butter. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It's really, really nice. And I got this for Christmas as well from another one of my colleagues. But yeah, mango has become one of my favourite scents. And it's so sad what's happened to the body shop. My local body shop is... It's gone. We don't have a body shop anymore. We can still get body shop online. And there are still a couple of um, physical stores. So it's Brandon's birthday today. I do need to message him. Happy birthday. He is 27 today. And I will be seeing him after work i did actually film some footage yesterday i spoke about quite a few things when i got home from work but i think i'm gonna cut a lot of it out because my camera was going in and out of focus and i feel like it was really rambly so i'm just gonna sort of talk about what i did yesterday now really quickly but i was basically talking about how i was really happy because i ticked a lot of things off my to-do list and i really struggle with getting basic things done i tend to put the simplest task off and um yesterday i felt really proud of myself because i actually managed to uh plan and book some things that i had been putting off for a little while. With my tattoo, I was gonna go to Time Bomb, which is where I got my last two tattoos, uh, last three tattoos, sorry, back in 2018. But then yesterday I decided I'm just gonna get my tattoo done at a slightly closer tattoo shop. Fingers crossed that they're good. The lady's really nice. She's coming to my pet shop before I work. I think it was a couple of weeks ago and she wanted a filter and I helped her out. So she kind of knows me. Their tattoos start from 30 pounds. I think she said my tattoo would be about 40. I went up to her yesterday and um, showed her what I wanted and I'm gonna head over at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow um, at 12 o'clock today on my lunch. But I am quite looking forward to my tattoo. I'm just more nervous about how it's gonna look. So I woke up this morning and then it sunk in that I was getting a tattoo and I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting my tattoo today. I also went into boots after work really quickly because I needed to pick up a eyebrow pencil because I'm completely out of eyebrow pencils and that is essential to my makeup routine because I need to fill in my eyebrows because I barely have any eyebrows, they're very sparse. And I also needed to pick up a aftershave for Brandon's birthday. He said he didn't want anything, but he said that at Christmas and I got him a few things. So I just wanted to get him a little something for his birthday. So a really nice lady helped me out. It didn't take me too long to pick an aftershave. But the first one she showed me, it smelled amazing so i went with that one so this is what it looks like it smells so good i went for the smallest one i had which was uh 60 mils just because i wasn't too sure if he was gonna like it or not if he does like it then in the future i can get him the bigger bottle because he's so picky with everything he's so hard <laughs> to get gifts for but i really like the smell of this and i think it was like 75 pounds or something like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows so this is the brow pencil i went for i was going to get the revolution one because i've repurchased that one a handful of times it's kind of like my go-to eyebrow pencil couldn't be bothered to find the revolution counter so i just stumbled across 17 and i got this it was like three pounds but i think because i use my boots card it ended up being like two pounds something so i just got this in brown so i'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in my brows and um, do a bit more of my makeup and then I'll get back to you guys. So I've just really quickly done my eyebrows. They probably look really bad, but I'm trying to rush <laughs> to do my makeup and I've just done my eyeliner and my mascara. I'm gonna go in with the same lip product I used yesterday, which was 
the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. I'm just really loving this colour at the moment because it's really nice and um, really subtle. It just gives you a hint of colour but not too much colour. So I'm just about to apply my deodorant and guess what guys? I have been using my Wild deodorant again. I've given it another try. I first bought this back in, I think it was the end of 2021, I think I got this. I tried it for about a week or so and I just didn't like it. I felt like it made my underarms white and it made me sweat so much more than I would sweat with regular deodorant and it does say on the website that your body is just trying to detox but I just got so annoyed and so frustrated I stopped using it and then maybe once or twice in between I tried it to see if I could give it another go and I just didn't like it but recently the last week or two I think it's probably been about two weeks now I've been trying to use this every day and not go for my usual deodorant and it's getting better some days I do feel like I sweat more than other days but fingers crossed it's just my body getting used to this new natural deodorant and one tip that I have been doing is when I apply it I rub it into my skin kind of like you would with a cream and I apply this twice today just really wanted to like this and it's just another eco-friendly thing i'm doing in my routine i already use reusable cotton pads i have been for years now i've got my eco-friendly eastridge razor and it would just be nice to have an eco-friendly deodorant too and um, i love the packaging and i love that you just need to buy the um the actual deodorant itself and you can actually buy them in boots now so i can't remember what scent this is i think it might be like eucalyptus and mint it doesn't smell too bad but then I feel like when you get a bit sweaty and mix in with your sweat it doesn't smell too good. So I'm just going to apply some of this now. So I usually like to do about two swipes I guess and you can see it kind of makes my armpits white which is why I didn't really like it but then um, now I've been rubbing it in. It's a lot a lot better so you can see there like <laughs> my armpits are white so let me put the lid on and then once you sort of rub it in like this the white bits basically disappear which is good and then just wash your hands after or else you'll have it all over your fingers and yeah so that's my spy deodorant if you haven't tried wild i'll see if i have a discount code that you can use just like a friend referral code not sponsored or anything like that i bought the deodorant myself with my own money but if you want to try wild um it's worth given a go oh and something out i didn't mention yesterday and i almost forgot to mention today i am finally getting my hair done tomorrow so this is another thing i have been putting off so i was going to get my hair done in february because my hair obviously needs doing my roots are very overgrown and i thought february will be a good time to get my hair done but then the thought of me having to do my hair every day kind of put me off and um also the fact that it's quite hard for me to schedule my hair appointment because i'm off work on a sunday and Monday and that's what my hairdressers are closed so I usually have to schedule it in on a day where I'm working um so in the past I have gone to appointments after work and then I get home quite late and I prefer to do that so that I don't miss any work but the thing is because I've got braids in I do need to actually take my braids out so I asked my manager yesterday if I could have um if I could just do half day tomorrow so Thursday so then I can quickly rush home take my braids out and then rush to the hairdressers which luckily is literally like two minutes from my house then i can rush there and um hopefully make it for my appointment at 5 30 for me to get my roots relaxed and then i'll have my natural hair out for a bit and quite honestly mentally exhausted from i think there is an element of morning you guys i am just about to start getting ready for work well i usually get up at six i got up at about 12 past because i just didn't want to get out of bed i've just made myself a coffee i've got a nice caramel latte i've not had a coffee in a little while to be fair i've been having tea the last few days sorry it feels like i've got a cat hair on my eyelid but yeah i've been having um tea the last few days but i don't have any milk for tea so i just made myself a uh a coffee and uh yeah so today i'm actually doing half day at work so i think i'll leave work about 12 or 1 o'clock um because i need to come home take my hair out and um then go to my hairdresser's appointment at 5 30. yesterday i did pop into the hair shop on the way home and i got myself a satin 
scarf to wrap my hair once it's freshly done and then I've just got myself a new um, satin bonnet as well so just like this one but this one I can actually tie it which is really nice I've never had the bonnet that I've been able to tie obviously I got pink and white probably should have got black and yeah so that's pretty much my plans for today really quite a busy day should have taken the whole day off to be fair but um I feel like if I go out to work in the morning it makes me feel more productive because if I was to stay home all day until my appointment I'm gonna feel like I don't really want to go out um so yeah my tattoo is healing nicely it was a little bit sore last night because obviously like you're laying down and whatnot but it feels okay and um it did sting a little bit when i washed it obviously because you're washing a open wound it's basically a cut and um i know you're not supposed to but i did use a very light layer of um vaseline and probably to make it worse i used the aloe vera one because it is the only one <laughs> that I have so you need to put something on it so I just put a very 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 tiny amount of um of Vaseline and it looks okay this morning hopefully I should get my tattoo balm this evening and I need to get myself a unscented soap as well I'm so unprepared and last minute but because this is not my first tattoo I feel like I'm not too overly stressed about it because it's very similar to my other tattoos good morning I can smell she's just done a poo you got poo on you. That's one downside to having a ragdoll. They end up with poo on their fur because they're long hair. And yeah, so I'll show you guys my tattoo this morning. It's healing quite well. It was a little bit like swollen yesterday. Like it was a little bit raised. I don't think any of my other tattoos done that, that I remember. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop rambling to you guys because I need to drink my coffee and uh start getting ready especially because i need to rush into iceland this morning as well and uh pick up a few bits and bobs i was just talking away for the last two minutes and i realized i didn't even press record so i did have to change my camera battery because my other one died so i went ahead and done my brows and my um eyeliner i have pretty much perfected um my everyday <laughs> makeup routine so quick and easy to do i did accidentally do my powder for blusher so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my blusher now um i'm using a different one today so this is rebel by revolution i do really like these blushes i have four one of them is in a really dark color which i don't like it's a weird color um but this one is a really nice berry color and yeah they're great blushes but they are a little bit powdery but they are quite cheap so you get what you pay for but you only need a tiny little bit of this product because it's so 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 pigmented i did mention this morning but i'm not sure if i would have cut it out of this vlog or not but i do really want to get another tattoo so where i've got this one i would like another one on the back of this arm pretty much um symmetrical to it and i might get 1997 which is my birth year and it's also the year the first harry potter book came out i am a huge harry potter fan so now i need to pick a lip product i think i'll go for this one so it's just by makeup gallery it just felt like wearing something very colored today i think it looked different well, this is a really nice colour. Don't need too much of it. Absolutely adore berry colours on the lips. I don't really use any satin sprays because I feel like they don't make much of a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with my makeup. <laughs> So now I need to go ahead and start taking my hair out and hope that I've got my hair all out by 5.30. So I'm gonna try and do it in about three hours because I also need to eat as well because I'm really hungry, but I don't have time to do lunch now. I need to make a start on my hair. So I'm just gonna grab a cup of tea and have some biscuits and then maybe take a break halfway through and maybe cook something. I should have picked up some noodles when I was in Iceland this morning because then I could have just had like some quick instant noodles but 
you know, so work was quite good. I was only at work for a couple of hours, so it went really, really quick. I finally got my balm for my tattoos. So my mum has Amazon Prime, so I sent her the link yesterday. And I was like, please, can you order this? So this one sounds quite good. It sounds quite natural as well. And it's just a tattoo aftercare balm. It wasn't too expensive either. And I do plan on getting some more tattoos this year for sure. This is what it looks like. It just comes in this little tin and oh it smells quite good but yeah so this is what it looks like i've got my ipad so i'll just pop something on to watch and then um my mirror is obviously just right in front of me So it's over an hour later and I've just finished taking out one side of my hair. So I still have this side to do. So what I'm going to do is take a break and go and make some food because I'm really hungry. And then continue with this side. And um, yeah, I've still got two hours until my appointment. <laughs> So I was at the hairdressers for about three hours yesterday and um, she actually treated my hair as well. I don't really like the treatment because I feel like it makes my um, scalp dry um, but she wants me to go in for another treatment um, in about two weeks time. Uh, it just helps to strengthen my hair a little bit and um, I've been on my relaxed hair journey since November 2020 and it was going okay at the start of 2023 and then all of a sudden my hair just started getting really thin it just kept breaking I was just losing so much hair like I didn't even have to comb my hair I could just touch my hair and so much hair would just drop out it was not great so um, my hairdresser gave me a treatment I feel like that did make my hair feel a bit stronger but it was still falling out and then um she recommended and i was thinking this anyway just to get my hair just to put my hair in braids i didn't really want to braids are not really my kind of thing um i think they look great on other people but i just don't feel like they suit me but i got some braids done back at the end of summer had them in for about three months and then back in november i got my hair braided again and obviously i just took them out yesterday so putting my hair in braids has given my hair a chance to um recover a bit and also grow a bit more but she did have a lot of split ends to cut off yesterday so it kind of feels like my hair hasn't changed too much since 2022 when i first got it relaxed it's a tiny bit longer but i feel like because i had a huge step back for most of last year and it's only just now my hair's recovering i feel like we're just sort of starting that journey all over again but my goal for my hair is to see if i can get it a little bit thicker and i really just want the front to grow out because i hate the little like haircut that i've got it just looks so silly because the front is like so short it's kind of like um she's sort of cut it in a U shape which I think is really nice but when you have longer hair and yeah my hair is just and yeah I just hate the style of how it is with my hair so short like I love short hair but I want it to be all one level if that makes sense um and because my hair is so much shorter at the front it just makes it really hard to style because I always end up having to like bobby pin it back and it just looks like really silly and really messy and yeah but i do have extensions which i did get the last summer i have a few different extensions um so that does add a bit of um thickness and a bit of length to my hair but i don't think i'm gonna pop them in just yet i'm just gonna try and um 
see how things go with my natural hair. I've also stripped back my um, hair products even more because I think it was the uh, shampoo and conditioner I was using that actually ruined my hair, which was the Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. We purchased it a couple of times, um, but I switched over to using Monday Hair Care in the summer and my hair seems to be agreeing on that. I'll see how I get on with it with my um, relaxed hair over the next couple of months. And I'm also going to try out a new oil so I ordered myself the Olaplex bonding oil, I think it's called. Not the cheapest oil and you only get a little bit of it. But apparently that oil is really nice and lightweight for relaxed hair. And an issue I had last time with my hair was that the, all the oils that I was using was just too heavy and it would weigh down my relaxed hair, especially because you can't wash it every day. You need to wash it every week to every two weeks. So you've got to make your hair last the whole week or two and obviously if you put a really thick heavy oil in your hair it's just going to weigh your hair down and yeah it's not great so i can't wait for the olapex oil to arrive um because that's supposed to be like really really good so my aim for my hair is just to try again at trying to look after it <laughs> pretty much and um, hopefully by the end of the year, we will see some progress. Uh, it is quite nice to have my hair out. It's just gonna be a struggle trying to, um, trying to style it, but having relaxed hair is so much more manageable than um, my hair in its natural state. So my makeup is pretty much done. Just need to put this lip product on and I'm using the same one as yesterday. Now I just need to do my hair. Um, I was wearing my hair up like this quite a bit when I had my hair relaxed previously, um, but I don't really have a nice hair clip. Like this hair clip is quite nice, but this is more of like my indoor at home hair clip. I can't remember where I got it from, but it's a really nice hair clip. It feels quite good quality as well. I had another Denman brush, put it away somewhere, but that one was way too harsh on my relaxed hair. There's this one is, I think it's a ball bristle brush, and this one is a lot more gentle on my hair. I just absolutely hate this style. Um, it's so, so, so bad. Bella's just jumped up on my bed. I always feel so envious when I just see her curled up on my bed just before I need to leave for work. I can actually see blue skies now, which is lovely. So good morning, you guys. Today is Monday. Got my hair tied up. Just poured myself out some iced coffee. Haven't had iced coffee in a little while. I'm trying this one today. I don't think I've had this one before. This is a Starbucks Frappuccino Sweet Creamy Coffee. So I've just got some ice in my glass and I've also got some of my caramel syrup in here as well because I can't have coffee at home without a caramel syrup. It tastes very similar to the other one, but it is sweeter and creamier. This is the nicest iced coffee I have ever had. The only thing is I find that the Starbucks um, iced coffees, they do have a slight aftertaste, even when you have them in store. My Drunk Elephant product around, I tested it out on Saturday, so I'll use it every Saturday. I can't really say whether it's made much of a difference to my skin because I've only used it once. And it's basically a face mask you use once a week and you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. But this is what it looks like. And I think it retails for about 70 something pounds. Trunk Elephant is ridiculously <laughs> expensive. Um, I would like to try a few of their um, creams and serums. They do look and sound really, really good. And uh, it basically says, this is an at-home facial that effectively yet gently Exfoliates, dramatically smooths texture and reveals a radiant baby soft complexion. And it's recommended to use uh, once weekly. So I will be using this on a Saturday after work. But yeah, I really like the packaging as well. I think it's quite cute. And I finally got my Olapex oil. And um, this is the only thing I have been using in my hair. And this oil actually is a lightweight oil because I've tried so many oils in the past that say they're lightweight and they're not. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. I use it once a day. Some people like to use it once every couple of days, but I like to use a little bit once a day, maybe in the morning or in the evening, whenever I decide to take my hair out. And it's supposed to make your hair shinier, healthier, stronger, and most importantly, it is really lightweight. So my hair is still almost 
like how it was when I was at the hairdresser and I will go in for another hair treatment on not this Wednesday or Thursday next week so then that will be two weeks she said to come back in two weeks uh my SD card is full so I'm going to go and sort that out I went in on Saturday to get another tattoo because I wanted to get 1997 which is my birth year and um, I wanted to get that on my other arm and I wanted it to be in line with the Bella but I kind of got a slightly different tattoo to what I wanted. I wanted it to be a lot smaller and a lot more dainty and um, annoyingly it is not in line with the Bella. I feel like maybe I didn't put my point across clearly. She made it the same size as Bella but I don't know if I made it clear enough that I wanted it on the same level as Bella so this tattoo is a little bit higher and then I was also a bit stressed because the tattoo was um much bigger and bolder than I wanted it um but it has grown on me since I got it um the only downside is it's not quite centered and it is a slightly different style to what I wanted but I feel like because it is so different to um this tattoo it doesn't really matter that they're not in line and I do plan on getting more tattoos on my arm I also noticed today that there's a little bit of blow out with this tattoo which is so annoying yeah i'll see how this tattoo heals and how this tattoo heals and if they're okay then i might go back to this lady and if i want a more like intricate design then i'll go to time bomb so i don't know if you'll be able to see with this one it is a lot more in the middle whereas this one the middle is more here and it is slightly off center but i do want more tattoos so i feel like it's not so bad it seems like a lot of people have butterflies but i really like what they symbolize and um i really love nature i really love animals i definitely want a floral tattoo as well pinterest is my go-to for tattoo <laughs> inspiration so this one is really pretty and why is this one hurt a lot more this one didn't really hurt too much i was expecting it to be quite painful but i think because it was a little bit more higher up it wasn't as close to the bone i feel like that's probably why it didn't hurt as much as this one so just before i head out to work i wanted to show you guys these cakes and brownies brandon very kindly gifted me yesterday when i saw him was not expecting these at all but because there's so many i'm sharing them with my mum and um my work colleagues so i asked my mum what cake and brownies she wanted so i've just separated them into a box for me and my mum i can open this and this is where he got them from if you were wondering so yeah these are the cakes and brownies for me and my mom how good do these look and then these are the ones that i'm going to share with my work colleagues so there's only two of them in today that will potentially eat these as you can see there was quite a lot so there's no way i'll be able to eat all of these to myself plus sharon is caring i just wanted to uh share this with you guys before i left out because that was really sweet of him it's really nice when he does unexpected uh sweet things like this So today is Friday, good Friday, so I'm actually off work today. I'm working tomorrow as normal, which is a Saturday, and then I've got Sunday and Monday off um, as normal, because I usually always have Sundays and Mondays off. Anyway, I don't celebrate Easter personally. I've not got any plans um, for Easter. It's just not a holiday that I celebrate. Um, I do like Easter chocolate though. Um, I don't care for Easter eggs or anything like that. The only thing I like... <laughs> are these the Maltese bunnies and I've been eating these since um the same week as Christmas that's when they started selling them um so yeah I've just been enjoying Maltese bunny if you celebrate Easter let me know what you got up to so I actually went to the hairdressers yesterday and I just went in for a treatment she just washed my hair and I sat under the dryer for a bit then she washed it out blow dried and straightened my hair and um yeah my hair's going okay so far I might give you guys a little tour of my um hair drawer just so you can see like what products I have at the moment it's pretty it's pretty basic um but I'm really happy with the bits that I do have I do need a couple more products though and I've got some like new combs and brushes as well and yeah so if you're wondering why I've got my makeup on and why I'm dressed well I'm half dressed actually I literally just took the label off today this top was 11.99 and um it's in a small I picked this up from Zara and Blue Water 
couple of years ago. I've just, I've just never worn it. It's a cute top. I'll show you guys. So this is what the top looks like. I don't know why I've never worn it before. It's a really cute top. Um, I think I forgot that it was cropped. I don't know, but I will be wearing this top this summer for sure. And then I've just got my pajama shorts. Did I say what I was filming? If not, I'm going to be filming a cat food haul again. Um, I know I done one about, probably about a month ago now, but I have been meaning to do this one for like the last two weeks because I do need to fill up Bella's food drawer again. I've already started using like a couple of food bits for this um from this haul so yeah i'm really excited to show you guys some new food and treats i absolutely adore doing cat food haul videos i love them so much and you guys seem to enjoy them as well you're not bored of them yet so although i did do one recently this one is going to be a realistic what i feed my ragdoll in a month the last one i done um, it was just a collection of different food I had given to Bella over like seven months or something like that because the last one I filmed before that was a little while ago but today's one I'm going to film like, it's just going to be a realistic of like what I buy my ragdoll food and treat wise in a month so Bella cost me about 80 to 100 pounds to feed a month I do feed her pretty good quality food and she also gets raw food as well so if you guys want to see what I feed her I'll link that video down in the description so Bella's just chilling on the end of my bed she's eating her food for this morning and down here is everything that I'm going to be sharing in the haul I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because it's already quite long um I did actually edit this vlog and upload it to YouTube and it was about 40 minutes and then I was watching it through and I got maybe 12 minutes in and I was like I hate this vlog so much so I went back and I basically re-edited this vlog and I ended up cutting over 10 minutes worth of footage out and then I've got it down to 30 minutes but obviously the bits that I filmed today will probably bring it back up to about 40 minutes but yeah I just really wasn't happy with the first edit of this vlog and now that I've gone over it I'm a lot happier with it hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog i really tried my best to try and film some stuff during the week i don't normally film during the week i tend to film on my days off so i just wanted to mix it up a little bit and now that we're in spring it will be lighter in the morning and it will also be lighter in the evenings for longer i'm able to just film a lot more content thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next vlog which i might start next week i don't know we'll see but yeah so i'll see you guys soon bye for now